Good morning, Rika. Thanks, Talon. Today is Friday, April the 24th. Today from 11 to 1 at Whittier, we will have two breakfasts, two lunches, and two dinners available for you. All children under the age of 18 are eligible. Also today, we will have blessings in a backpack and food bank bags available for any family that comes through. And again, blessings in a backpack are for any student under the age of 18. Food bank bags are available for families. Whittier weather today, high of 58, low of 44. Our chance of precipitation, ooh, look at that, just right now said it's 610 percent. That should be 60 percent. Happy birthday today to Genesis M. There are no birthdays tomorrow and on Sunday. Happy birthday to Haley H. Welcome to our guest teacher. Good morning, everybody. This is Mr. Migdale. I'm from office of Migdale at my house in the basement. Um, it's been a rough time not being able to see everybody and work. Been to school uh, half a dozen times just to get things done and hand out Chromebooks and get people help when they need it. Uh, we are doing everything we can to help everybody who's having trouble with any technology. Uh, I've been on the phone with a lot of parents, even some kids. Um, sent some emails to everyone's schoolology, and I'll keep doing more of those so you guys can hear from me. Uh, just show you, I want to show you my where I'm working. Uh, everyone's been uh, showing you that. Here's my computer. And I do my email and my notes, my breakfast plate, my Sprite Zero cup, some chips. There's my daughter and my puppy doing her online work. My high school son is doing his work every day, getting his work done. Um, and my oldest son is um, going to be starting law school. He's finishing up his last year of college. He finished four years of college in two years. So he's been making decisions about uh, college, about where to go to for law school. The next step, uh, my wife's been tutoring people uh, upstairs and all through video chat. So we've got video chatting going all day long and, you know, we're making the best of it. Uh, we play basketball, we've done some street hockey, we played spike ball. Uh, my sons have been running together, you know, pretty far, a couple couple miles, three miles. Uh, we can't wait for packages to come every day and the mail. Um, that's about the most exciting thing we do. We've been doing movie nights. Uh, can't wait to see Onward. That's what my daughter wants to see. Uh, and, you know, we're just making everything good. We, we do our work hours just like everybody else is doing. Um, I talk to Ms. Shriver maybe once or twice a day. I see her on the computer in our conference calls with all the teachers. And we're all just, you know, doing our best, being heroes. Um, just make sure you thank your parents for helping you, and I thank you for doing your work. And work at your hardest, because that's all we can expect is you to do your best. Uh, we're always here for you if you need us. Um, and, you know, can't wait to see you again. Um, hope we get to see each other soon. If not, you'll probably see pictures of me. I know you've been seeing my uh, happy birthday announcements with my picture of the jib jab, which are very funny. I love uh, the one from the, the heroes. That was pretty cool. Uh, and Miss Strygraph running around the school in our in our costumes. That was pretty cool. Um, okay, thank you. Bye. Thanks, Mr. Migdell. We miss you. And what I miss most is you make me laugh every single day. Today is April 24th, and our national days are National Pigs in a Blanket Day. Ooh, that's a favorite in our house. Those little hot dogs and crescent rolls. Yum. National Children Save the Day Day. 
National Arbor Day. Oh, how appropriate. Our word of the day fits along with that. National Hairball Awareness Day. Hi, Whittier readers. It's Ms. Satoli welcoming you back for our last day of National Library Week. Can you believe it? It feels like we just started this fun week full of showing off how much we love our library. I have really enjoyed seeing your pictures and your videos throughout the week, and so this week I thought we would end it on a fun challenge. It is called Be a Librarian. I absolutely love my job. You guys know because I tell you that all the time. We get to have so much fun and learning in our library, and so even though I have a lot of friends that ask me a lot of questions throughout my day, there is one question that is the most asked question, and that is, you know a good book to read? And so I thought it'd be fun for you guys to answer that question. So you can do it in a variety of ways. You can take a picture with you and your favorite book and upload it onto Schoology. I'll, ha I'll have a Be a Librarian section in your Schoology library course. You can also draw a picture of your favorite book or your favorite scene. Just make sure you add the title so that we know what book that is. Or you can do what I'm doing right now, make a short little video, a little book blurb, a little book commercial to tell us a little bit about that book, but make sure you leave a good cliffhanger. Don't tell the ending because we all want to read that book. And then um, make sure that you share that on Schoology. I think what I might do in the next couple of weeks is also share out maybe a Flipgrid so that we can have our whole school in one spot sharing the books that they love and hopefully inspiring people to continue to read those. So before I let you go ahead and try your hand at being a librarian, I thought I would tell you about two books that I recently read that I think you would enjoy. This first one has to do with the character that I dressed up as yesterday, Gerald's Elephant with Elephant and Piggy. If you look at the front cover, it starts to look like an Elephant and Piggy book because you see them right at that top corner. But you'll notice there's a sign over top of Elephant and Piggy and it says Harold and Hog. The title says Harold and Hog pretend for real. And instead of Mo Willems writing it, it's crossed off and has Dan Sandpat's name on it. He's the illustrator of Drawn Together, one of our Maryland Black Eyed Susan books that we've read. In this story, Elephant and Piggy are super excited because they find a book that has two characters that look like them, an elephant and a pig. This will surely crack you up. Then the second book is for my older kiddos. I love the, the book Wonder. You'll notice I have my shirt on here, and most of you that have read the book or seen the movie know this character's name is Augie. And the story Wonder is all about learning about each other, learning about each other's stories and showing compassion and empathy and kindness to everyone. Well, in the second book, Augie and Me, that was a really great book if you read it too because it gave you more information about the characters and it really added more to the story of Wonder. And then I saw this graphic novel and noticed something really interesting. Here is the graphic novel White Bird, and if you look carefully, there's Augie there too. This graphic novel is written by the same author as Wonder, and you'll notice that Augie is there, and it says, A Wonder Story. So before I started to read it, I wondered to myself, mm -hmm, um, how is this going to be connected to Wonder and Augie and me? And so as I started to read, I noticed that one of the characters is Julian. Some of you guys know if you've read this book, Julian was not kind to Augie at all. In fact, he was quite the bully. And so I was surprised to see him in this story. He has to do a school report and asked his grandmother if he could interview her so that he can learn what it was like for her growing up as a little girl. And so she begins to start to tell the story of when she lived in France during a particular time right around World War II and it is one of the stories that will stay with you and in your heart for a long time. 
So those of you that love graphic novels, I know we have some silly ones out there like Dogman and Allie and Bone, but this kind of graphic novel, you can learn some things from it too, but boy, what an amazing story to tell. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed our library time together this week. Don't forget about me. Make sure that you go over to your library course so that you can uh, continue to read the Maryland Black Eyed Susans with me. We will be voting in a couple of weeks. So um, I'm not going to say goodbye. I'm just going to say I'll see you soon. And I can't wait to see what books you are going to recommend to all of us. Happy reading, my friends. Thanks, Ms. Tolley, and what a fun week it's been. Our word of the day is facilitate. That's to make the, uh, yesterday's word of the day was facilitate. That's to make things easier, help bring about. And our guest word of the day is arboreal. Mm, arboreal. <coughs> and today is also National Arbor Day. Our leadership quote of the day, courage is the main quality of leadership. And in my opinion, no matter where it is exercised, usually it implies some risk, especially in new undertakings. <coughs> I'm sure I got to put that on there because right now um, leadership is requiring a lot of courage and we are taking risks and we are definitely doing some new undertakings and again that's from my hero Walt Disney. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. One nation under God indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Standard video time is 8.57. Have a fantastic Friday.